welcome back to my channel it's me asli i was one of the last rankers in my college and when the first year mbbs results came out i was one among the batch toppers so this is my story of how i went from the last rank to one among the batch toppers the point number 1 gratitude so i think this is the most important thing that really made this change in me most of the students when they join medical college we go to something known as post neat syndrome i know you all have that you know post neat syndrome where uh, we have been preparing like hell for the uh, neat ug and you enter the college i want to take a rest since my neat rank was not that great my chances of getting a government medical college was very grim and my family can't afford a private medical college so i was not really sure how things will turn out to be and i was very afraid that i'll end up not getting a medical college so it was a very tense situation and from that phase i ended up in a government medical college during the mop up rounds that is spot admission so when i got the government college in a spot admission i was so happy because i still remember going to you know state bank of india to ask details of an educational loan it was not a very you know <laughs> happy moment uh, because i have to put my house as a collateral to get loan etc all those things were very you know stressful and finally i ended up in a government college and you know very less fees thank god alhamdulillah so i was so grateful uh, that i got a medical college and you know because of that uh, this post neat syndrome didn't really affect me point number 2 pre reading about mbbs since i was not sure that i will be getting a government college i was thinking of educational loan and all so if i am studying medicine with educational loan most probably i will have to start repaying it once i finish like once i graduate so i'm forced to have a post graduate degree with me so i was like mm, i should study i should study and you know earn a pg so fast so that i can repay my loan without you know burdening my parents that was my thought so i started reading about mbbs you know how to study mbbs um how to study anatomy how to study first year subjects what are the first year subjects what are the different books no i came from a non medical family so you know i never had anyone in my family to ask so kora google they were my sources and i know what it feels like when you don't have anyone to ask for so that's why i made you know videos like introduction to first year mbbs books to buy etc okay back to the story so after reading through internet kora and all i got an idea what mbbs is you know which are the different books you read and how do you prepare for pg um, what do you do in first year how do you how do you study first year all these things i got from kora and google so with this knowledge i came to my college one of the most important thing i got from pre reading is that you need scores don't really matter it was a very striking point to me because i came from a non medical family so there was no one to tell me all this it may sound so easy to you but i didn't know that maybe you also didn't know it i had this feeling that i have very low rank very low score what will i do can i be successful in medicine can i be successful as a doctor all these things came to me so when this you know in this core i was explained that your needs scores don't really matter it really gave me a lot of confidence so pre reading are really helped me because it gave me an idea you know like a road map and what to expect and what to do in such and such situations point number 3 understand don't mug up this is something that i've repeatedly explained in my videos and i even tell this to my juniors maybe you're studying for an exam you try to mug up and after the exam you forget everything you know that's not something you do in medicine because that's now how things should be here when you try to understand things you'll most probably go out of your textbooks you'll go to youtube you know google all those things and most probably you'll have something different other than the textbook which is beautiful so when you go for an exam and write an answer your answers will be unique uh, that uniqueness came from you you know going out of your textbook and trying to understand things so this uniqueness is something that fetches you extra marks yeah that have really helped me because when you go to google when you go to youtube there will be one or two extra points maybe maybe it's a statement maybe it's a diagram whatever you draw it you write it the teachers are very happy because they're seeing something different right so that really helped me score much better marks so at the end of the day try to understand things rather than mugging them up point number 4 marks don't matter marks don't make you a good doctor now this is a very 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 important thing medicine is not about your marks your scores your ranks no it's much bigger than that marks was least of my concern because i never considered marks as a measure of my knowledge or a measure of my success in the exam they'll ask you selected topics so if you study them you can score good marks right and you can also try to uh, by heart them in a couple of days before and after the exam you can forget it that was not 
my case that was not something i wanted to when you don't really care about marks you lose something known as exam fear now this fear of examination is a very stressful thing exam is a stressful condition not that but a lot of students have uh, you know unwanted fear about exam that is very stressful that can also have a negative impact on your scores so when you don't really care about marks exams become a pleasant experience because it's not about how much you score it's about how much i know last and the final point presenting answers if your university exams are essay based then you have to make sure that you present the ideas in the smart way yeah smart way not the beautiful way but the smart way i make a uh, bracket points i add more and more and more and more diagrams in each and every answer so that when they look through my paper they like mm, this kid know something so the early you show the evaluator you know the stuff the more marks you get if your exams are essay based understand that those who are doing the evaluation have no time to read all your answer yeah when they are looking at your paper they don't have time to read each and every line of your answer the amount of mark you get in your exam is inversely proportional to the amount of disturbance you make in your answer paper <laughs> yeah the idea is that if you disturb them more they'll only give you less mark and handwriting doesn't really matter just try to make it as legible as possible because i don't have a great handwriting my handwriting is bad and being a doctor you know having a bad handwriting is Um, you know it's an achievement i have previously made a video on how to present answers in an essay based exam um, i'll put the link up there uh, that video is in a ppt format because i had to make it in a hurry you know the first year students was uh, giving exam that time and i'll try to make you know much uh, better video on it in the future if possible so with this uh, gratitude in mind where i could get out of the post need syndrome as early as i can reading about mbbs before admission which really gave me an idea what i will be expecting and trying to understand things which really helped me in the learning process and don't caring about the marks helped me in not getting stressed in the testing process and finally in my exams i presented my answers as smart as possible so this is all i did and that's how i went from being a last ranger to one among the batch toppers so why did i do this video if i can do it you can do it too it's not about being a topper yeah it's not about that it's about understanding that you're capable of anything you wish to do in your life if you ask me how i became a topper my simple answer would be my batchmates didn't study enough now one more thing too i have tried to enjoy my college life as i can now you don't have to be a book nerd to become a topper looking back to my first year experience i don't feel any regret I don't feel any sadness that I missed out anything. I try to enjoy my college life as I can. I have participated in arts, various competitions, etc. I was not in front of my books all day. You can ask my friends if you need to re-verify. You have a non-academic life in your college. Arts, fest, sports, everything. You know, this time is very precious. So if you think that it's all about studying, you lose the process. MBBS is not about completely study you can watch my q and a session i have answered this question there much beautifully i don't know which year you are in or which course you are doing but whatever the time you have now is precious you will not get it back so don't make studies alone your priority your non academic life is also important so make sure that along with your studies you find time to enjoy and experience your life so that will be it if you benefited from this video let me know in the comments and press that like button if you enjoyed this and if you haven't don't forget to press that subscribe button see you on the next video thank you take care